name. My name Dee. is Dewey. I'm Deaf Man. My name is T A Y L O R. When I was retired and I decided to walk the track every single day. So whenever I passed here, I was walking around, I decided to come in. I was working at the check-in desk and this gentleman just walked right by and so I called, sir, sir. He didn't turn around so I had one of my staff get him in the hallway and uh, when he tapped on his shoulder he realized that he was deaf and so he called for me. So she brought a pen and paper. We walked around, she kind of explained a little bit about the why. I was very impressed how she wrote and how she showed us around talking. I told him about the financial assistance and he said, why not, let's try it. And when he saw that he qualified, he was really excited. That's when I saw his face light up. He found a place that he could afford and still come and work out. And I told him, I'm only giving you financial assistance if every time you come in, you teach me a new sign. And he did. So he would come every single day. He taught me a new sign. My first one was Happy New Year. So, Happy New Year. She was, told me she was learning some signs, so I taught her some as well. And I decided to be connected at the Y. He did tell me that he has some health issues, I mean, besides his hearing. I had a heart attack in 1999. And I had a stent put up through my heart. And I said I needed to exercise. Again, I had a second heart attack, and I went to the hospital, they researched, they couldn't find anything. This doctor told me I just need to come exercise for 30 minutes. That's it. So I was really interested in that. 30 minutes, that's fine. Now I'm up to an hour. I've decided to prove it. Now I work out for two hours every day. When Dewey first started coming, uh, he came around January. He taught me Happy New Year. And uh, I would ask him every day when he came in, how are you feeling? How are you doing? And he would say, fine, you know, I'm okay, but he still felt tired when he worked out, or he didn't feel as active as he used to when he was younger. And then as the months got on, and he still came, you know, it was March, April, May, and he was one of those that were stuck through it, um, he started feeling better. He was healthier, he looked healthier, he was happier. It was good. I mean, it's good for my heart, good for my muscles, but it's good for myself as well, for my goals. I feel comfortable here. It's a really positive environment. Every time a deaf person does come to the front desk, my staff know to come and get me, and I love it. It's like the highlight of my day. Um, but yeah, just recently we signed up a family of four, and uh, the little girl signed up for basketball. And she's deaf, but they know a coach who knows sign language, and so she signed up with the coach here. And so they're able to come here and play basketball, which I don't know anywhere else that, that would be you know, able. With the deaf, I can help them here, explain them about the YMCA, help them come to the YMCA. You don't have to swim, you can walk, you can exercise. I like to encourage them to try to come. The Y was needed for him. He needed the Y, and at the end, I needed him. So it's cool. I don't know if Dewey realizes what he's like meant to me. Um, I've learned so much through him. I think I've learned more through him than he's learned through the Y, but that's what the why is. It's a give and take, and I love it. Thank you. Dewey. Y-M-C-A.